We're doing some winter camping in the Fraser Valley and working on some upgrades for our SUV tiny camper. Today's projects go from simple upgrades to our camper's living room to making our custom window screens even better. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Chris. And we love unconventional minimalist travel. If we're in Canada and the US, we're probably in our SUV tiny camper. And if we're somewhere else in the world, we're backpacking and staying in hostels and Airbnbs. The list of updates and projects we had for our Honda Pilot micro camper just kept growing. So this camping trip, we're making a big dent in that list. We're working on a better spot to play games, a place to watch videos, and improving our custom window screens. So let's get started with project number one, a better spot to play games. Let's rewind a few days to the start of this project. We use this center console to play a lot of games in the micro camper, like cribbage and stuff. Uh, but it's a bit of a pain because uh, the center console has these drink holders, which probably super handy for most people, but for us it just means it's a spot for the cribbage board and the cards to fall into. So we're going to create a cover for it, just out of simple cardboard. We started by cutting the cardboard out to size, including cutting out a section to allow room for the console's hinge. Then we sewed a cover for the cardboard in this fabric we love. There are many channels that will teach you how to sew, but this isn't one of them. Once we had the cover, we slid in the cardboard. The board fits perfectly inside the console, so it's always ready for game night. On to project number two, a new tablet holder. This is the tablet that we use to watch TV while we're camping. It's basically just a Windows tablet, but one of the big problems we were having with it is that we didn't have a place to put it when we were lying in bed and we wanted to watch TV. In the end, I came up with this. This is Ook wire, and I just bent it into a shape to hold the tablet. And so it just goes on around the tablet like this, quite easy. And then the hooks hook onto our cubes and it just sits and it faces us and it's really easy to use. In fact, we can even use it with our while it's, sit, while it's sitting there. Unlike with the old way we had it, we always had to take it down. We couldn't actually change videos and stuff like that while it was already up in place. Anyways, super simple and works really well. Now project number three, a cozy floor protector. When we're in living room mode, we also like to take off our boots and shoes and just kind of get cozy in our socks. The problem is that if the base of the car has been used for everything and it's soaking wet from our boots and from firewood and all of that stuff, it's not super pleasant to put our socks on. So we bought some shelving cover material from the dollar store and cut it to fit the bottom of our camper. Now when we're hanging out in living room mode, we can take off our shoes, put the cover down, and have a dry, clean, and cozy spot for our feet. On to project number four, improving our custom car window screens. We really love our window screens that we came up with when we first wanted to make this a uh, car micro camper. Uh, but one of the problems that we've always had with them is that these wires from the fans would hang down and the power packs that we were using would sit inside the door. So we decided that what we wanted to do is put a little pouch for the battery packs on each of the window screens so that the battery pack can just go in and out no problem, just holds there and it's all basically one unit. We can take the battery pack out to bring it upstairs to charge it and we can easily plug it into the, to the fan, but it just holds in place when we're in the camper and that makes it just, you know, that much easier to use. The other thing we did is we wrapped up the cables because we didn't need them so long. Uh, I could potentially shorten them, uh, cut them apart and shorten them, but it just doesn't seem too necessary we can just wrap them up they sort of stay out of the way and when we open the door they're not flopping all around in front of us and getting caught on us when we're sleeping and that kind of thing to make the pouches I took them some of our leftover fabric from these window screen covers and basically just made a pouch that was exactly the size of the battery packs that we're putting in well both battery packs are different but this is the biggest one so it fits the biggest one so basically it's just one piece of fabric folded over. I hemmed the top and then I folded it over and sewed the 
side and bottom. And then I did the same thing as we did down here with the screws that are on the uh, window screen cover and I screwed the fabric directly into the wood. So I just drilled little pilot holes and then used these tiny little screws which are about less than a half inch because I didn't want it to go through the, the board that we're using. Did one one at a time from the back to the front because I had to basically stick the screwdriver and uh, get the screw through the fabric while it wasn't attached because if I did the first one then it would be almost impossible to get the screwdriver all the way back here to get this back one. I start from the back, work to the front, and uh, then it now holds on quite snug. And the battery pack just fits inside and it actually when battery pack is inside, which is part of the plan, kind of stiffens it up and it just holds there right, really nicely. And now for project number five, a better fitting tablecloth. We've been looking for a new tablecloth for camping for a while and we came across this tablecloth at Walmart. It was pretty much exactly what we'd been looking for. It was a bit of a plasticky type tablecloth that still had a cloth feel, so easy to clean but still kind of nice looking. And it was the pattern we like. It feels like it matches our buffalo check decor. It was also only about two bucks. We bought it and we put it in the camper and we realized it was huge. It was this massive tablecloth. We really don't need a tablecloth that's that big, especially because when you fold it up it takes a lot of space. So all I did was I cut it in half and then I sewed a hem on it and now we have a much smaller tablecloth. And so you can see the hem I did here and it doesn't look that dissimilar to the professional hem. In the last few days we made a better spot to play games in the camper, a new holder for our tablet, a floor protector for the back of the SUV, an upgrade to our custom car window screens, and a better fitting tablecloth. There's so much more on our list, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more DIY project ideas.